welcome to another video this is the third chapter of my result discussion as i explained that every thesis have four common chapters the first chapter is introduction the second chapter is literature review or literature survey the third chapter is materials and method and people call it also experimental methods the last chapter is the conclusion you conclude your whole thesis now between these that chapter is called result and discussion sometimes people make it one chapter so your whole thesis will be five chapters sometimes people make it three chapters so your whole chapter your whole thesis will be seven chapters now it depend on the data you have it depend on the results you achieve uh, this is my sixth chapter and this is the third chapter of result and discussion is i told that in my first result discussion chapter that is the fourth chapter i explain the synthesis and the characterization of nanoparticles the second uh, the the sixth the five chapter which was the result discussion that was the basis of the fabrication and the synthesis of nanofibers this is now the composite i make the composite nanostructures actinoxide and i give that another chapter so you just plan your work and you just tell yourself that i need to make one chapter from this work i need to make one chapter from this work i need to make one chapter from this work okay so this is now my sixth number chapter and this is the result discussion and composite i explained to you that this is now a composite mean when you make two uh, different things together that is called composite so this chapter has also an introduction and this is little bit lengthier you see because we have to tell some story that why we need composite this chapter highlights you see the development of composite nanostructure of tenoxide and titania using two different approaches in order to address the lower uc and fill factor of pure sno2 disensitized solar cell observed in chapter 4 and 5 you see it's a very nice sentence if somebody asks that why you need to make composite so i am telling that when i use tenoxide in a pure pristine farm so it give me very low efficiency or low uc and low fill factor this is why i need to use titania is a composite material with tin oxide in order to overcome this lower vuc and fill factor you will see how i overcome this deficiencies in the first approach two type of composite are formed by solution treatment the first the number one we use tin titanium nanoparticles and make the composite with sno2 multi functional nanoparticle nanosphere you remember this is the fourth chapter we are talking about this is the fourth chapter we synthesize this in fourth chapter now we making composite with titania and the second is we use the five chapter the tenoxide multiforce nanofibers and we make the composite with titania here you see this is my second approach it's very nicely to further improve the photovoltaic parameters and this composite we also make this nano comp nanofibers composite using electro electro spinning you see and this is we just till this method and second approach this is a single precursor solution in order to combine we say that in the first approach we just make separate we take the titania separate and this separate and combine it and that second approach we just mix this first make a precursor solution and then we uh, electro spun so we get a single material that was a composite okay as a, as a usual we have to characterize this for uh, these kind of things the first one is xrd here you see this is the xrd here of the composite uh, material here and this is we have to find the this is the tam analysis of the materials and this is the surface morphology and then we make electrodes so this is the cross sectional of the electrode using acm you see then we did some edx here also oh it's this a good characterization techniques uh, we did the edx here Uh, edx edx will tell us that what is the basically you see edx tell us that there is also tin and also titania ah it's very interesting edx will give us that whether your material is composed of how many elements this is this is so edx confirm that uh, our material is we make the composite material and now it composed of both okay yes and this is the weightage uh, of these things that uh, titania composite is the ten, the ten composition is this much the titania is this and oxygen is this you see so you can see all are present here so edx yes 
And then we make the DC scene and we did the diluting here. And finally we made the photovoltaic, the current voltage uh, of this composite you see here. And charge transport properties. And finally we conclude our this chapter. This is very lengthy chapter. This was very finally we conclude our uh, uh, this chapter. And look look the conclusion here. It's very lengthy. Primary issue, we just read, primary issue of pure pristine tenoxide nanostructure is inferior photovoltaic and fill factor. You remember, I also explained this in my introduction. You see? And then we make the composite here and we tell the reader that we increase the VUC from 500 to 730. You see? That's very interesting in conclusion. And we also achieve 8% efficiency. But with pure, it was only... Uh, 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 four percent and we say however the fill factor remain unchanged but fill factor we did not increase for both the devices you see and the next approach in electro spring nanofiber composite was developed etc and there we increase the uh, fill factor to 64 you see this is very interesting uh, and we further says that this enhancement in photovoltaic parameters are due to the suppression of electron recombination enhanced diluting and fermi level shift you see because of this composite these three things happen and we achieve our uh, desired photovoltaic parameters so now this is the end of uh, result discussion chapter 6 and i hope uh, you understand how to write the conclusion of every chapter and introduction in conclusion you need to write a little bit more than introduction and you need to uh, put the numerical values that um, uh, this we achieved, this we achieved. Introduction is almost similar to the conclusion, but that gives, uh, per, per this kind of chapter, you just tell the reader the flow, not result. You just don't put results. An article and publish, you want to publish something, article, papers, the introduction is more powerful than the conclusion, but I'm talking about thesis. Okay, thanks for watching.